Today on the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast, we are talking about how a Q angle may be affecting your fitness workouts. So women's hips are designed with what is called the Q angle. And if you're a woman over 40 and having knee pain, you might be thinking it's just old age, but it actually might be because of your Q angle. If you're a woman over 40 and you are looking to lose weight for the last time, you are in the right spot. Welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. My name is Nicole Simonin and I'm your host. And we all know that we need to move more and eat less, but why don't we do it? I give clients the skill sets they need through fitness, nutrition, and most importantly, mindset, because that's the missing piece to all this. So if you've tried a ton of diets and are still looking for the latest and greatest 12 week workout program and still haven't seen results, it's the mindset part that is missing for you. So when you become a client, you will not just learn how to lose a weight, but you're gonna learn how to keep it off for life. I hope you will enjoy this podcast, and when you're ready to lose the weight for the last time, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and schedule your strategy session where possibility starts and results begin. Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Thank you so much for being here. The response I've been getting from the podcast is very flattering and just awesome. I'm so excited that this podcast is starting to really reach lots of people and I am so glad to hear the feedback that everybody is loving the podcast. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love hearing feedback from you guys, so make sure you go to the bottom of the podcast, especially Apple Podcast, and leave a review. And today I'm going to share with you one of the reviews that was left. So this review is from Renee PJ. Fun and helpful information. Nicole gives a real information to help women over 40 make this weight loss thing work. Nothing fluffy or magical, just the truth delivered with a good dose of fun. So thank you so much, Renee. I really appreciate you for leaving the review, and I am so glad that uh, you're enjoying the podcast. All right, so let's get into today's topic. We are talking about Q angle, and I learned about the Q angle when I worked as a physical therapist assistant. It's very fascinating how the body is all put together. A lot of times people think they have knee pain and it's directly coming from their knees and it actually may not, especially if you are a female. We all pretty much have the same amount of bones and muscles and organs inside, but we're all put together a little differently. And as you look around, you will see women that have wider hips. You will see women that have smaller hips. And I'm talking bone structure. You might see women with longer legs or longer arms or vice versa. So we all are different when we are structurally put together. There are many different reasons that you may be having knee pain. And I will definitely dive into that in another podcast. But one of the reasons could be your Q angle. So what the heck is a Q angle? The Q angle is called the quadriceps angle. So it describes the angle from the hip down towards the kneecap. I know this is a podcast and you obviously cannot see, you are just listening, but if you go to shapeitupfitness.com and look at the show notes for the Q angle, you will see a picture. Knowing your Q angle will give you an idea on how the thigh muscle functions in conjunction with the kneecap. A normal kneecap moves up and down in the groove as you bend and extend your knee. When your Q angle is at a wider position, the kneecap does not track properly, which can cause damage over time. Now, as I'm diving into this podcast, I want to make sure that I know everyone is usually very um, proactive in not going to the doctor. (laughs) I want to make sure that you definitely, if you think this is your problem or if you have any issues, go to your doctor, get it checked out. You can present this idea to them as well, but always check with the doctor first before you start self-medicating. All right, so what is a normal Q angle? The Q angle is measured using a goniometer, which is, we used it in physical therapy, but it's very similar to like a protractor. This is the angle formed by a line from the pelvis to the kneecap and a second line from under the pelvis to the kneecap. And again, go to the show notes if you wanna see a picture. A normal Q angle is between 13 and 18 degrees. So if you measure over 15 degrees, you might be more inclined to be at a greater risk of knee injuries. So typically women have a wider Q angle due to the size of their pelvis compared to the males. 
and having a wider pelvis ladies comes in handy when you are giving birth to children so if you do have wider hips don't get upset you do have an advantage <laughs> in other areas so how the cue angle affects exercise the biomechanics of certain exercises involving the knee joint may put you at a disadvantage if you have a larger cue angle when landing and jumps squats and or pivoting women tend to roll their knees inward and pronate their feet so pronate means to roll in on your feet this does not allow your knee joint to properly absorb the shock of the jump or track correctly as you squat and when i say track i mean the your patella which is your kneecap it runs in a groove and you want it to track correctly so you don't have any issues so problems that may occur with wider q angles definitely muscle imbalances when you have a wider q angle it tends to pull the kneecap towards the outside of the knee and this can be from having tight quads especially the lateral quadricep which is the outside quad and also a tight iliotibial band you also have known it as an it band that is a band that runs down the side of your leg on the outside so when the kneecap is constantly being pulled off to the one side, it will not track properly in the knee groove, which then can lead to wear and tear and possible degeneration behind the kneecap. So this condition is very common in dancers and in runners. The next one is overcompensation. This is the, the infamous song that we all know as kids. The knee bone is connected to the thigh bone. We all have heard the song and it's so, so true. If one thing is off in the body, another body part will jump in and try to help out. That is the amazing part of the body. It really wants to work as a team. But sometimes it does not benefit the body in the long run. So if you have an excessive cue angle, it can alter the placement of your foot. With an excessive cue angle, the knees tend to look knock-kneed, which makes the foot roll inwards or pronate. Runners are also susceptible to a number of injuries from overpronating the feet. But again, if it's coming from your hips, a lot of people try and fix the foot problem where it's really coming from your hips. The next is joint instability. When the kneecap faces inwards, the ligaments become overstretched and lax, which compromises the stability of the knee joint. So the ACL, which is the anterior cruciate ligament, takes a brunt of the work in this position. So females with wider Q angles are at a higher risk of having an ACL injury due to the instability. So now that that's all doom and gloom, right? What can you do if you have a Q angle that's wider than 15 degrees? First is you want to stabilize the joint. So adding balance exercises to increase your proprioception and stability in the knee joint. Second is to get orthotics. Getting orthotics isn't just for grandma. I know I personally have orthotics. I feel much better in my orthotics than I have when I didn't have them. But having custom orthotics made for you may help control excessive pronation in the feet and can reduce stress placed on the kneecap. You also wanna balance out your muscles and your ligaments with flexibility and strength exercises. You cannot forget to stretch. You wanna make sure you're working with somebody who knows what they're doing, preferably someone that has a medical background because if one side is overstretched and the other side is not and you just stretch everything, you're still creating an imbalance. So you want to make sure you have somebody who understands how the body works and they can give you the appropriate places where you need to strengthen and you need flexibility um, to balance the muscles and the ligaments out. The other part is to strengthen the muscles around the knee joint. The knee joint needs to be strengthened, not just quadriceps, but hamstrings and calves. So there are many different exercises to strengthen the muscles around the knee joint. The last thing is to stretch. And you wanna make sure that you're stretching out your IT band before and after your workouts. This IT band, again, runs down the side of your leg and is usually super, super, super tight and super sensitive, especially if you are a big runner. That needs to be stretched. The IT band is definitely one that is usually ignored until it acts up and then you have to pay attention to it and believe me it is very painful when it when it acts up so preventative measures for sure 
getting that rolled out. But I find the foam roller is the best way to kind of loosen up that IT band. Um, I do have a video in the show notes that you can check out and you can see how to foam roll it. So making sure you are strengthening your quads, which is your the front of your thighs. Also, you really want to strengthen your, your glutes, your tush. <laughs> the tush is our biggest muscle and it is the laziest muscle. I definitely will be coming out with a podcast about that so you can learn more about that. But I really think that's where um, like lazy butt came from. You're a lazy butt. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you also want to work on those hamstrings and your calves as well. So just to wrap up, some of the common injuries that can be included in having a wider cue angle is patellofemoral pain, which is pain under or around the kneecap, chondromalacia of the knee, which is degenerative wear and tear, which is normal to an extent, but if your knee is being pulled out of that groove, your patella is being pulled off to one side or the other, you get more wear and tear. And that happens underneath the patella or the kneecap. And then that last common injury is ACL injuries. So make sure you go to the doctor if you are having knee pain, get it checked out, figure out what is the problem, and then go from there. If you are looking for someone to help you design a workout program to not only help you lose the weight, but to strengthen your muscles and to give you more flexibility and to basically give you freedom and independence as we age, I wanna invite you to head over to Shape It Up Fitness dot com slash chat with Nicole and you can schedule a free strategy session with me. This call is a great way to share what your weight loss goals are and why you feel like you're struggling to reach those goals. So head to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat with Nicole if you want to schedule a free call with me today. All right, that's it for me today and I will talk to you next week. Have a great day. If you are looking for quick and easy meals to put together that have minimal cleanup time, then I want to introduce you to the No Fuss, No Mess, Shape It Up cookbook. This is perfect for the non-chef who wants quick meals, minimal cleanup time, and a smaller waistline. Inside your cookbook includes healthy recipes with easy to find ingredients, time savers in the kitchen, easy cleanup, and most meals are made in one pot. Spend less time in the kitchen and more time doing the things that you love. The No Fuss, No Mess, Shape It Up cookbook. Now available at Amazon.com.